Yeah, as you were gaining more um, tools to work with people, and as you're gaining more uh, popularity, um, people knowing more about your work, and having more clients maybe that were um, uh, had more advanced problems and things like that, as you're standing out in the world more, shining more in the world, did you yeah. notice any like, resistance coming up or personal like fears or things? Because I'm noticing oh, that happening. Oh hell yeah! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Some of the biggest meltdowns like, of my life. Surely I'm not alone. Oh, you have no. Idea. Okay. Let's, let's okay. paint this picture. Sobbing on my front, on my father, I was living at my dad's house as I was starting my business. Sobbing so hard <laughs> after the people came to set up the video equipment at my house where I was going to be videoing my free videos that were going to go out to the world, sobbing uh, uncontrollably. Nobody was at the house for me to, like, talk to. So I so I sat on my front yard, and I hugged the nearest tree. <laughs> oh, like, I could not get a hold of myself. <laughs> so oh, my absolutely. God. And you know who really helped me with that was Margaret Lynch. That's why I'm just like, her yes, I've been getting on with her. I just love so much. Yes. And that's what really got I, me through it. I started tapping okay. on because she she does a lot of like being you know afraid to be seen and and things like that. Um, and it was just it all just resonated and it worked so well for me that I got to the point I had I ended up recording my videos three times, but the third time I was I felt really prepared. I felt really good. And then when I went to the and I wrote all these flashcards. And when I went to record, I forgot the flashcards, but I had memorized three 30-minute videos that ended up going really well. And I think two of the three of them, I just did it all in one fell swoop. So, wow. Um, so, yeah, no, I absolutely had so much resistance. And, you know, again, it's like it's just another, it's just another level of, like, you're just upping your game more, you know. And it's really fucking scary. So, yeah, totally. If you've really. got that fear, and and you, you know what, that's also when I gained all all my weight. I put it's you know it could have been because I was severely anorexic before that, and my body was just like mm-hmm. adjusting, or it could have been I was so damn scared about being out there in the world that I subconsciously put on this whole extra layer of fat just to protect myself. Um, yeah. So yeah. I could see that happening to you as well. I I can remember doing tapping. This might be good for you too. Um, I can remember doing tapping um, in my room, thinking about all the people looking at me, standing on stage, um, Mm -hmm. and everyone's judging me and going, oh, my God, she's not that skinny. Or, like, you know, who is this woman? Who does she think she is teaching us? Or So, like, all the fears Mm -hmm. that I was kind of subconsciously thinking, I put myself Mm -hmm. in that scenario where I was standing in front of, you know, this huge audience and I had to really be there and I was being seen like spotlight was on me mm-hmm. and I tapped away all the anxiety I did that a few times too and that really really calmed down I've changed a lot so that's good yeah, yeah that helped a lot to uh, be validated in that because <laughs> I um <laughs> I think that may be really a lot of what's going on for me because I noticed myself starting to gain more weight as soon as I started really the more that I get myself out in the world, the more that mm-hmm. my subconscious mind flipping out, and the more that um, that I'm noticing there's like this inner thing of okay, yeah, if you if you gain weight, then you don't actually have to get yourself out in the world because yeah. then you're going to want to that off. Um, oh, absolutely. And those really really great little um, <laughs> just diversion <laughs> to. To keeping me, and, and I kind of eventually had to tell myself, you know, I'm going to do this regardless of whether I'm 50 pounds overweight or not. So just, yeah, just know that it's, I'm going to do it anyway. But it, it's, it's, I need to tap through the fear, you know. Oh yeah, it. that's that's what I did. I mean, from the from the day that I started working on my website to when I launched it, I had gained 30 pounds. Mm. And this was before, mm. but keep mm-hmm. in mind, I didn't know about echo tapping. I, I hadn't come up with echo tapping yet. I didn't know about all the self-sabotage work that I teach. I didn't know how to push the food away. All I knew was traditional tapping, and that wasn't working. That's why, yeah. as a result of me going through all of that, that's when I came up with these techniques because I was so damn frustrated. I'm like, I, this, mm-hmm. I, there has to be something else. Like, There's something that I'm not getting here. 
and mm-hmm. so and then once I yeah. once those two those are the two big keys that really caused me to like lose the weight and you know then I knew I said okay this is a full set of tools this is everything that you need to deal with emotional eating and before that I, I didn't have that so um, but yeah I mean and I think there's something really powerful about saying you know what I'm going to do this anyway and had I not you know by me doing that I had this group of women that a small group of women that I said I was going to take through an advanced program I had no idea what I was going to teach them I just knew I knew a lot of shit and I was going to teach them and mm-hmm. halfway through that program as I was working on my own stuff I you know I discovered the push the food away because I pushed the food away and I did this process with myself and I was like well let's try it with these girls and see what happens and so you know as a result of me putting myself out there at you know 30 pounds more than I was when I originally started it it, you know created this whole huge thing you know there aren't many humans that are not afraid of success and um, you know I that could be also going on for you as well as like you know the more success you're having with people the more advanced techniques you're learning that you know the more knowledge you're gaining and the more able you are to help people like you're kind of probably feeling like Fuck, I'm really good at this like wow I can really you know make some changes mm-hmm. and that's that can be scary too 